Hi, Dirty Girl here with another vintage sales report video from eBay and Etsy. This is for the week ending December 6th. And this has been, I think, my best week ever to sell online. Um, yeah, it's uh, fourth quarter. Yay! So I have a lot to cover. I'm just going to get started. I'm going to try to get through this stuff really fast. I'm going to do eBay first because I only had one lonely little sale on eBay, and that was this little pocket knife, which is um, a, uh, a souvenir from Hawaii. It's got a little little tiki guy on it, and uh, that sold for a whopping $9.99, and I paid $5 for it. I was obviously hoping that was going to go a little higher, but that's kind of the way it is with these knives. You win some, you lose some. Um, and the next thing I have to show you, I sold on my uh, other Etsy store that I don't talk about very much, which is Kara Lennox, where I sell uh, handmade and craft supplies. And I sold this lot of yo-yos. There's a whole bunch of, of little tiny yo-yos and then a bunch of circles to make more yo-yos. And there were just lots and lots of them. And I sold those for uh, $16, and I paid $3 for them at the flea market. This is a pair of earrings I got from my mother-in-law. They're sterling silver, little naturalistic flowers. They're uh, screwback earrings, and they're from the 1940s. And uh, those sold for $12. You know, I wish I could get more for sterling silver earrings, but the screwback earrings just aren't as popular, so... You have to lower the price on them. And next up is this antique drill bit index box. doesn't have any drill bits in it, but it's got spaces for them. I thought it was a cute little round box. Very um, primitive, folk artsy type of thing. And it sold for $19, and I paid $2 for it at the flea market. This is a little 1930s, probably Czechoslovakian made brooch. It's brass with all these different colored rhinestones. Really nicely done. Uh, let's see. Well, I put in here that it was 1920s. I don't know why I thought that. I think it's probably more 1930s now looking at it. But anyway, I uh, sold that for $18, and I paid $4 for that at the flea market. And this sold to the same person. It's another Art Deco brooch. Uh, 1920s, 1930s. I paid $5 for that at the flea market and sold that for $22. Sold another knife hone, sharpening stone, carborundum. They're the uh, leading name in these sharpening stones. This is a number 109, which I have sold before. I sold this one for $28 and I paid $5 for it at the flea market. This was a pair of really cute little, uh, one was a bottle opener and one was a corkscrew. And they have these carved bone, probably cattle bone handles, like little dachshunds. Very mid-century. And uh, those sold for $18. And I paid $6 for them at the flea market. This is a beautiful Adrian Vittadini large silk square floral scarf. I normally only pay $3 for a scarf, but I paid $4 for this one because it was extra nice and extra big and a really good designer name. And uh, it sold for $24. <laughs> Chloe hears me. Here she comes. Uh, this is, um, I just bought this without knowing anything about it other than it was mid-century atomic uh, really cool looking. Did some research on it and found out that it was a uh, something called Glamma Glass and it's designed by Dorothy Thorpe for Sinclair Glass and I paid um, $9.50 for that because I just loved it. It was fairly large and I sold it for $24. Oops. This is the second of two Peter Max scarves I bought at the flea market. I paid $2.50 for this scarf, and I sold it for $65. This one was in better condition than the other one. It really it was almost perfect. So, uh, yeah, if you see anything, Peter Max is pretty collectible. So, you know, think Beatles, Yellow Submarine, that sort of thing. 
And then this button came in a baggie full of buttons and jewelry and whatnot that I paid $5 for at the flea market. I've sold a ton of stuff from it, including some beautiful Art Deco brooches and whatnot. This is just sort of, uh, you know, something that's good enough to sell, but I wasn't sure how much it would bring. Sometimes motorcycle club memorabilia can be real collectible. I stuck it up on eBay and uh, nothing happened, and so I put it on Etsy and it sold for $12, and I paid roughly 50 cents for it. And this is a Chinese calligraphy set in a silk-covered box. Um, I thought that it was unused when I bought it, but when I got it home and investigated further, I found out that the little ink uh, thing had been opened. So couldn't ask quite as much for it as I would have otherwise. But I paid $10 for it and sold it for 19 Oh, and by the way, uh, all I, everything is buyer pay shipping that I do, so shipping is kind of not a factor. Um, got these little uh, red rhinestone earrings, um, brass. I got those at a, I think I got those at an estate sale. I paid two dollars for them and sold them for ten, but I wore them a little bit before I sold them. And this is a, a shaving kit from the 1940s or 1950s. It's kind of fun. It's got some old Gillette razors. It's got Pepsi and toothpaste, skin bracer, uh, mouth, or not mouthwash, um, aftershave, all this stuff. Anyway, I paid $5 for that, and I sold it for $21. Had a lot of lookers. Now, unfortunately, I went to pack this up, and I thought, oh, that's got, you know, some liquid in it. I better put that in a ziplock and kind of put some padding in here and when I unzipped the case the zipper just came completely loose the stitching in it just like ripped out all in one fell swoop and I, so <laughs> nothing like damaging an item after you've sold it so I contacted the buyer and told her what happened and I said I, I can you know cancel the sale and send your money back or I can give you a 20% discount for the torn stitching and uh, if it if you're handy you can sew it you know if you have a upholstery needle you can sew it back together so she chose that option the 20% uh, refund so that's what I did and so it's $21 minus $4 and 20 cents I think and this is another fortune-telling deck this is the uh, professor AF Seward's fortune-telling cards it's really beautiful beautiful pictures on them really fun deck uh, comes from the 1930s and I paid $12 for that deck of cards, but I sold it for $45, so not too bad. This is a little tea strainer. Uh, it's two parts, has this little tray and then the strainer itself that's shaped like a teapot. I paid $2 for that at the flea market and sold it for $12. And this is an Oneida silver plate bowl. It's a Paul Revere reproduction. I bought this at a thrift store for $3 back when I thought buying a silver plate was a good idea. <laughs> and I sold it for $13. I don't know why I was priced at $13. I never priced anything at $13. It sounds unlucky. Um, oh, this was the uh, one of the turquoise rings I d showed in a haul video just very recently. Uh, I like this turquoise because it's in the matrix. It's got the other stone with it. Kind of interesting looking. Uh, polished up real nice. And I only paid $5 for that, which is amazing. It's a big hunk of turquoise. And I sold that. I sold that for $32. This is a tiny piece of amber in sterling silver. A little pendant. And it's marked 95 silver, and I paid $5 for that, and I sold it for $32. This is a Victorian book, Payne's Social Letter Writer. It has all these little form letters that, you know, you could just kind of fill in the pertinent information and sign your name. And uh, they're very amusing to read. Oh my gosh, people were so proper. It's just, did people really do that? I don't know. Uh, but I love the Victorian styling on the cover. It's a um, copyright 1888 and I paid 
three dollars no let's see is that right three dollars yes i paid three dollars for that at the flea market it had a lot of um marks on the back and pencils pencil writing all over it but i got busy with an eraser and i cleaned it up a lot it looked a lot better and i sold that for uh 42 dollars and this is an ice pick or an awl uh, has a brand name on it, Fairgrove, and it has a little sheath to put it in. It's probably, I don't know how old it is, uh, 1950s is what I put on here. I got that at a uh, estate sale for a dollar. Um, I always look in the kitchen stuff because it's often overlooked by the estate sale people. They just want to clear it out, and so they'll say, like, everything's a dollar. So that's how much I paid for it, and I sold it for $14. These are some Monet cubic zirconia uh, earrings, post earrings. I bought those for um, two dollars, I think. No, one dollar. Yes, one dollar, and sold them for ten dollars. This is the American Ace harmonica. I love the uh, pretty box with the airplane on it, circa 1960s by um, Honer, and. Where'd it go? Oh, I paid six dollars for that and sold it for fifteen. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to sell it for more, but turns out they're a little more common than I thought they would be. And here's some more cubic zirconia earrings. I got these in a lot that I bought at the flea market very recently. A big uh, or a small box of jewelry that had oh ten or twelve pieces in it that I paid twenty dollars for. So these were approximately two dollars, and I sold them for twenty dollars. They're really nice, very good condition, make good bridal earrings. This was an unusual necklace that I bought at the flea market. Uh, it had this really strange colored metal. It had like a purple sheen on it with these great uh, glass cabochon things. Just thought it was a really pretty piece. And um, turn the paper around. Let's see. Oh, I paid $5 for that and sold it for 14 uh, and this was a really pretty scarf echo brand. I like the purple and green geometry of it. It's a 1980s scarf, and I bought it for $3 and sold it for $15. And I love this brooch. This is an atomic, space-age kind of looking shooting star brooch from the 1950s. I could not find this on my inventory, so I think it... it Almost certainly came from my mother-in-law, but a long time ago. You can tell by the style of the picture. I took it a long time ago. So I probably did not pay anything for that, and I sold it for $24. And then this is a, a pattern, China pattern, called Bucks County. Um, it's made by Royal China. I paid $8 for the sugar bowl because I was thinking that this pattern was a little more... Uh, desirable than it is. It's collectible, but not super collectible. So I paid eight for it and sold it for 16. And you might remember the sitara musical instrument. I uh, put a new couple of strings on it and um, it's been sitting around for a while. And uh, Allison, bless her heart, uh, is a musical student who um, made me an offer, and so I think we negotiated a little bit, and I ended up uh, selling it for 25 and I paid $5 for it. Had to do a lot of work cleaning it up, though. And this little uh, sheet metal frog, uh, let's see. Oh, he came from my mother-in-law, so I didn't pay anything for him. I like his colors. thought he was really cute. It's a little brooch. And he sold for $10. This came from the ever-popular Magical Auction Box. It's a, a mustache cup. Let's see if you, there, so you can see the little mustache protector. And it was in very good condition. It's the Life of a Fireman with a, a nice color. Where are you? Nice color picture on it. So I did not pay very much for it, maybe a dollar. And uh, since the guy was a retired New York fireman, I sold this to him for $15, which was a pretty good price, but I still made a little profit out of it. Then I have this Victorian brass 
pendant. Um, where did I pay for that? I paid three dollars for that at the flea market and sold it for twenty six dollars. And last but not least, are these cute little cowboy boot earrings. Um, they are made from turquoise and coral, but they're um, like a composite. Like they take the the dust and they put something in it to make a paste, and then that's how they make the turquoise. And anyway. Um, but they are sterling silver, and uh, so I sold them for, I paid $3 for them and sold them for $10. And that is it for the week. Uh, my total sales for the week were $697.79. My uh, total paid for all these items is $130.50, which leaves a difference of $567.29. I have to pay my eBay and Etsy fees out of that. So, like I said, best week ever. Love the holidays. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will like, subscribe, comment down below, and um, come back and see me again. I'll have another video up soon. Thanks. Bye.